The Iron Sheik has sadly passed away. Anyone that was a fan of wrestling in the 80s and 90s knows the Iron Sheik. Wrestling kind of follows what's going on in America. So if there was a tension between Iran and America, then wrestling provides Hulk Hogan, Mr. America, and then comes up with a heel, a bad guy, the Iron Sheik, to take the fall so that America can go to go to their different wrestling matches and watch Hulk Hogan beat the heck out of the Iron Sheik. Well, it just so happens I'm Iranian, Persian background, so my family liked the Iron Sheik. He was actually a hero, a world-class wrestler in Iran, and he became a professional wrestler, which some people call it a fake wrestler, but very entertaining wrestler, just like The Rock, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Andre the Giant. This was the Iron Sheik, and uh, I want you to take a look right here at none other then Dwayne The Rock Johnson speaking eloquently about the wrestling legend we just lost. Take a look. This guy, um, The Rock, you know, everyone knows his famous phrase, Jabroni, I should lay the smack down on your Rudy Poo candy ass. Well, guess what? All those phrases came from the Iron Sheik. And we lost a pro wrestling legend today, the Iron Sheik. And um, I just want to say, well, a few things. Most importantly, I want to send my... Uh, my love and my support, my strength, my light, uh, my mana, and my condolences to the Iron Sheik's family, who I consider Ohana. They are a family of ours, too, as well. Um, as uh, I think a few of you may know, I grew up calling the Iron Sheik Uncle Sheiky, and when my dad and the Iron Sheik used to wrestle together, not only in the WWE, but also before that, when uh, we were living in the Carolinas, in North Carolina, and my dad and the Iron Sheik were wrestling together there for the National Wrestling Alliance, the NWA. Uh, Uncle Sheiky would come over to the house and, and his wife would babysit me. And I was about eight years old at that time and I was a pain in the ass even then. So God bless that woman, his wife, Carol. Thank you, Carol, for putting up with all my shit as a kid. Um, I hope you guys are staying strong and um, Again, I'm so sorry to hear the news, and and, and, I, and I will say this, as, as someone who has professional wrestling in his blood, and had it not been for the world of professional wrestling, I would not have the life that I have today, uh, because it was everything. And I am, my grandfather was in pro wrestling, my dad, my cousins, my grandmother, everybody, you name it. So as a man who loves professional wrestling, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the Iron Sheik and all of his accomplishments. And of course, with all, there are so many Iron Sheik stories that are just classic and legendary, as legendary as the man himself. I'll share this really quickly with you guys. So when I first started as a rookie in the WWE, it was a WWF at that time. Uh, in the world of pro, there is no world like pro wrestling. And when you're a rookie, um, you better tie your boots up pretty fucking tight because um, that locker room is a tough one. And if you could survive it, uh, then you got a good shot at making it. So when I first came in to the WWE, uh, the Iron Sheik had pulled me aside because, again, uh, you know, he was family. And he said, Baba, let me tell you something. He said, um, he had this great accent. He said, you come into the locker room, you sit down, you shut your mouth, you don't say anything, and you just watch and you learn. And then, he said, and then you understand who the good people and who the jabronis. <laughs> and then, by the way, as simplistic as that sounded, it was true. I sat there every night in the locker room, I'd shut my mouth and I'd just watch and I'd learn. And of course, a couple of years later, when I became The Rock, I borrowed the term jabroni, you know. And The Rock says, you jabroni, shut your mouth and know your role. Oh, I use that word, that jabroni, and by the way, jabroni became a fixture in lexicon. I believe it's in the Webster's Dictionary now, and they give me credit for it. No, no, no. The truth is, all the credit goes to the Iron Sheik, because that was his word. He used it. I just happened to come along and, you know, start saying it in my promos. You jabronis! Uh, but Iron Sheik, thank you. Uh, thank you for the memories. Um, and, um, and... Perhaps more importantly, thank you for paving the way for guys like me who, um, who love pro wrestling. So thank you, Iron Sheik, for the memories. You are a legend. You will be missed, but never forgotten.
What a humble guy. Now, Dwayne The Rock Johnson threw it down. He appropriated the word jabroni from the Iron Sheik, the Iranian legend. So rest in peace, Iron Sheik. Now, many of you don't know this. I also had a run-in with the Iron Sheik. So I'm one degree away from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and I can go in there and act with him and tell him to know his damn role and shut his mouth. Now, look, this would be uh, so funny if you've never seen this. Take a look at Iron Sheik just a few years ago preparing me to go on tour, making sure I was strong and ready to attack that stage. Oh. Don't tell her. I won't, I won't. You guys don't tell her. It'll be, it'll be our little secret. It might be better. <laughs> Being fit on the road is really important to me. Uh, partially because for no ruse, they keep giving you five or six helpings of kebab, rice. These things are not diet friendly. Okay, if you only do one no ruse a year, you can handle it. I'm doing like 17 shows. Sometimes you get a nice gym, and then you gotta really go for it because you may not see one of those for a little while. Make sure to touch your chest on the floor. One, two, three, four. Perfect so far. Next time, five. One, two, three, four, five. Next time, six. Next time, don't talk. It's too hard, Sheik. It's too hard. It's too hard. It's too hard. You cannot take it. And you better get up and pack your bag. Get the out of here. Come back next time. <laughs> That was an amazing excerpt from my documentary where I went and learned about the Persian culture because I grew up in Reno, Nevada. My father left Iran and could never go back. So what are you going to do? You're going to go see the legends and pay your dues, show, uh, give them their flowers and ask them for advice. I love Iron Sheik. Next time five. Next time don't talk. Next time six. It's too hard. Get out. And he kicked me out. How funny was that? If you want to support my comedy, instead of just throwing a tip in the bucket, go on kvoncomedy.com, go to the store, go to the shop, and order the No Roos documentary, Persian New Year, where you can see the Iron Sheik and 20 other celebrities teaching me how to be more Persian. With that said, I have to uh, give a shout out to a lady um, who decided that she loved wrestling so much. She loved the Iron Sheik so much. She made her wedding wrestling themed when it came to the final bride and groom dance. I know it's hard to understand. Take a look. What? what did you think of that, folks? Would you have a wrestling themed wedding? She was obviously a big fan. She did a perfect stunner. That's the Stone Cold Steve Austin stunner. And then she got on top of him and pinned him. That means he's out. She is now in charge of him. He is the jabroni for the rest of his life after marrying her. Take a look one more.